Hello everybody and welcome back to Alexi's Winter. So, where we last left off, we finished episode 1 and somebody broke into our apartment, which, you know, that's not fun. So, we gotta go out back into the cold, even though we just got back into the warmth, and search for whoever robbed us. Hmm. Let's see, this guy's out here again. Maybe he saw something. Man is painting the gate. What are you doing? Can't you see I'm painting this gate? Strange to do this in the winter. Got my orders. You did not paint the left part. Is any government employee watching? No? Then I don't really care. Okay. Oh, you fixed your window! This is Uncle Petia. Oh, oh. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Uncle Petia, they stole my the TV this time. Dear Alexi, could you get those sausages for me again? Maybe not even hot, and then I will head off for my work. Where are you working? I work as a first-class driver at the trolley bus depot, with, but without food I will go nowhere. Doesn't your mom cook delicious food? You think she cooks? She writes complaints and fills in forms day and night. Oh. Masha's making soup. Again. Is she gonna pour it at us? Masha! Hello! My TV was stolen! That's something, Alexi. You just keep losing stuff. Yeah. I'm making my second soup, so please let me be. Okay, yeah, I kind of ruined your other one. Pile of rubbish and empty bottles lay under Uncle Petia's window. He probably drank beer yesterday. Can we rummage through it? Take an empty bottle. Not touching anything else. I'm probably smart. Um, can I use the intercom? an intercom to call different apartments. Let's call someone. Oh, I think I pressed too hard. The top cover fell off. There are a lot of power cables here. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Ah, okay. What about you? Can I talk to you guys? Uncle Misha has hearing problems. Even if I shout, he won't hear it. Cannot reach. Okay, let's go. What's that? This sign shows where the shops are. Huh, okay, let's head that way then. Ooh! appears to be a car completely buried in snow. Grab some snow from the car. <laughs> oh, is this the same car? They probably moved it because I was trying to take all their snow. What are you guys doing? Hello? How long are you standing in line? I've been here for two hours. Guess it's no point for me to stand in line too. What are they standing in line for? Fish? There's a TV set in the room. Hey! That's exactly the same as my TV! Man is now looking outside. Oh! Comrade, have you noticed? I've noticed you have the same TV set like mine. Have the Soviet Union has the same TV set? What's your point? Where did you get yours from? Some man in apartment 150 is selling these TV sets. He found them somewhere. That sounds like he stole those somewhere. Apartment 150. I'll write that number down. Light in the window. Nothing special. Nothing special. What about you? Who are you? Who are you? This is the janitor. He's shoveling snow. Talk to me. I guess nothing. Neither of us had anything to say. What about you guys? Meat seller. Hey, can I get a half a kilo of sausages? Please? Can I get a half kilo of sausages? Do I look like a robot to you? Do you think I can serve two people at once? I'm already helping this old lady. Sorry. Lena this why are you standing there? I would like to sit on the couch, but it is occupied. No respect for the elderly nowadays. But I will stand here until there is a free bench. Alright then. There's a lady with a big bag sitting on the bench. Can you move your bag? Can you move over so the old lady can sit down? No, I cannot. Why not? I have a jar with cider here, but drinking from a jar is not so convenient. So is walking with a jar of cider. Why do you have a jar of cider? Are you waiting for the trolley bus? Yes, line 18. Will bring me just where I need to go. Is there no alternative? I have an automobile, you know, in front of the fish shop, in the snow. But it has to warm up really long, so public transport is easier. Good luck waiting, then. There. Oh, so that's his car. I've been stealing snow off your car forever. Once I have the receipt for my sausages, I will pay her. Or we could just not. Who are you? Who are you? 
What is this here? We collect empty bottles. We pay coins for them. Oh, 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 oh. Here. I have an empty bottle. Here you go. I have a bottle here. That is a nice bottle. Can I get a coin for it? Sure. I got a coin. Okay, apartment 150. I, do, I don't remember what the key is for. Oh, was it for this car? Maybe we could open the car and heat it up for him. Because it was like a- I don't remember what this is- Oh no, it's our apartment key! Sorry. Um... What should we do? Oh, what's this? Is there something in here? Stop! Where are you going? Just want to throw something in the garbage bin. Can't you read? It says stay off the grass! But it's snowing! Why is there a garbage bin standing in the grass anyways? Get lost! You're an asshole. Alright, so what is this? What are people waiting for? Should stand in line before I could buy this, but the line is too long. Advertisement says premium quality canned fish. 500 grams for just one coin. Ooh. 500 grams of fish? They did it. Alright, let's go. Oh, can I mess with this? <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind me. Not gonna screw with anything. It's a payphone. Can I use it? Call the police is free. Calling police now. Hello, good evening. I would like to report a theft. What happened? Uh, my television set got stolen. Oh god, my voice! <clears throat> and now a man is selling exactly the same television sets. Exact address is Red Street 12, Entrance 12, Apartment 150. Thank you for your call. We are dispatching a car. We'll check it out. Oh, do we have to wait? Alright, well, at least they're on their way. But, uh... I'm gonna go confront them first, I think. Oh, What is this here? Oh. Hmm. Oh, there's a window up here. Dark old window. It's missing some glass. Can I throw a snowball at it? No. I can throw a snowball at somebody. Maybe the janitor. I don't like him. Oh, there is a cop! Good evening, I was the one who called you about the man who stole... Who sold stolen TV sets. Yes, thank you for your call. We already caught him. Indeed, there were a lot of stolen TV sets in his apartment. That's good news. Can I get my TV set back then? Have you filed an official lost goods retrieving request? No, how could I do that? You need to fill in the correct forms. I don't know which forms. Can you help me out? Here's a blank form. Maybe you know someone who has experience with filling in forms. Thank you. Return once you have the form filled in. Only then can we return your TV set. Alright, well thanks for nothing, I guess. What about you? Can you help me with the forms? What about you? How are you doing? Now that there's a cop here. What are you doing? Can't you see? Taming the gate. Actually, there is the police. Look, they're watching. Oh, thank you, comrade. You're right. I missed the spot there. Haha! -ha! Now he moved. Oh, hello! Lady in the window. This is Uncle Petia's mother. Olga. Olga, sorry. Uncle Petia's mother. Why should he paint this right under my window? The smell of paint is awful. I have a kitchen here. Well, it's gonna dry. Can you help me with this form? It's a complaint, and I heard you were good at those. Good evening, can you help me fill out an application for stolen property? You talk about some expensive TV, but I've earned enough working at Kim Volo... No. I have 42 years of seniority! They promised me that they will give a bonus to those who have worked 40 or more, but this is from November! Only today is come and they tell me that this is only for those who have worked for 45 years! And if there are any benefits for my apartment, then only half will be paid extra. And you need to take a stamped form of benefit. And my neighbor was there today. She made a surcharge for her pension, but without any forms. And I have to fill in the forms. She has a disabled husband, but it turns out that if he is disabled, then she can get part of his pension. But then you need to go to the office and explain. But yesterday, they said on the radio, <gasps> they would like to cancel the benefits and pay another 30%. My legs hurt. I even cannot go to the shop to buy bread. Lena Vasilyanova can buy for me, as she also has a pension like mine. So I should ask to buy bread for you? Here, give her the cucumbers, salted. I prepared those for Vasya's wedding in the summer. Hope she can buy bread for me. 
and I'll try to fill in the paper for you. Thank you, I will try to. All right, well, we got somewhere. We <laughs> I mean, jeez, Uncle Petria was not kidding when he said that she complains. <laughs> She's very good at it. Hey, taxi! Oh. All right. Are you the one I have to talk to? Pickles! Again! Take this. Why are you giving me this? If I had some berries, that's healthy for gout, stomach, everything. Very healthy. All are healthy in blueberry and lingonberry and cloudberry. In the summer, we collected these with Ivan. But this? Why would I need this? Do you need an empty bottle? I have a jar of cider here from bring for drinking, but drinking from a jar is not so convenient. If it's not too much trouble, can I have your bottle? Here you go. Don't ask where I got it from. Yes! There, now, Lady Vasilene... Vasil... Vasilene... <laughs> How are you? I received my pension, but the price of bread went up. Here I am, selling some rubber gloves. Maybe someone needs it. I don't need gloves yet, I guess. Do you want some pickles? Olga Petro Petrovna asked me asked you to buy her bread. I promised her I bought some bread, but first I need to feed the poor pigeons. They're all so hungry. So I cannot have the bread? That's a shame. Okay, the pigeons need food. So pigeons. Please, can I get a half a kilo of sausages? Here I have weighed it. Here it is, 500 grams. I think that you weighed it wrong. That is not 500 grams. My weights are stolen, so I'm just doing what I can. I need exactly 500 grams. Well, then bring me a weight of 500 grams. God. <laughs> Attitude problem. What about you? How long are you standing? It's two hours. For the fish. Gotta find weight. Oh, the fish! I need to get the fish, cause that th that that that's 500 grams. So if I get the 500 gram fish, then you find out how much the sausage is. But see, I can't get that because it's freaking covered with people. What if I throw a snowball at them? Snowball! Ah. How much for the gloves? Are you still selling those rubber gloves? Here, take a coin. These rubber gloves are as good as new, only one a couple times. Thank you. All right, nice. Can I have the bread too? It's not coming. Maybe when the driver did not come to work again. Oh, it's not coming. Dude, the bus isn't coming. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna tell. So I've put on the rubber gloves. Let's see if I can fix it now. Probably connect this cable here. I'll switch this on and... Oh no! I think I overloaded the circuit! All the lights went off! I'm sorry, Masha! I'm always screwing up your soup! Oh, frick! Oh, no. I think there's something more important than the complaint! Oh, jeez. Well, that's not looking good. Maybe we should go back to the payphone. I have nothing to do with this. Oh, someone's fixing it now. Hmm. Man, I overloaded everything. What are you doing? The power is off in the entire block. I'm fixing it. How long will it take? No idea. The wiring is all fried. Good luck. Electrician on the ladder. He's probably fixing the power shortage I caused. Well, good job. Good job. Nothing in your grasp. Let's go down. Window, there's a man behind it. Oh, looking for potatoes. No. Why are you standing here? Move on. Uh, give me a potato? Sir? <laughs> Just selling potatoes. Okay, I will put on rubber gloves now. I guess I can touch it. Now there is a lot of blue paint on my gloves. Huh. Paint gloves. Hmm. Hmm. What if we mess with this? Because it's blue. Can't reach that from here. Oh, get on the ladder. Okay. No. 
now. Mess with it. Changed 18 to 13. <laughs> so we won't remove the sign because it's a felony, but <laughs> we'll, we'll change the sign. Waiting for the trolley? Yes, line 18 will bring me just where I need to go. But line 18 does not run here. Look at the sign. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it says line 13. How could I have missed that? Yes, yeah, so what are you going to do? I have an automobile, you know, in front of the fish shop in the snow. I guess it's my only way now. Yes! Why are you poisoning us? <laughs> Drive away as soon as possible. We can hardly get any fresh air here. Oh, they're starting to be upset standing there. He's trying to poison us with smoke. Drive away as soon as possible. There's hardly fresh air here. If I were you, I would go away. It's better to go home than this. The line's not moving anyway. I think that's for the best. Yes! Alright, I would like some fish. Okay. Fish, please. One can of premium fish. 500 grams. Now we can give it to this guy. Here, take this fish can. Bring me a weight of 500 grams. I have a weight. Here you go. Weight of this can is exactly 500 grams. Use it as a weight. Give the can here. See, it's half a kilo. Can I pay you? No, here's your receipt. Pay the cashier. Okay, okay. I have my receipt, madam. I'd like to pay for the sausages. Here's my receipt. I'm on a technical break. Can't you read the sign? When is the break over? Can't you see the power's down? A technician is work. When the power's back on, I will start working. Ah, oh, you are lazy. Alright, so when the power's back on, you will be working. Alright. Can I just... Dang it. I can't take... Have you finished... Uh, reading... Have you finished feeding the birds? Okay, not yet. Oh, he's almost done. Switch this on, and it's fixed. Nice. <laughs> it worked. All right, now give me my freaking sausage. I'm gonna pay for the sausages. Give me one coin. Thank you. Can we cook the sausages on the car? Just to see. Okay. All right. Let's take them to the dude. You wanted the sausages, and you said I don't even have to cook them, so I'm bringing them to you uncooked. I brought sausages for you. Well done, Alexi. Are you going to your shift? I told you I would. Great. Alright, that's one problem solved. Yes, there's one coming soon. Now leave, then don't come back again. Don't give up. Or leave, then come back again. Thank you. Okay. I will leave and come back again. Oh, the car's gone! They're left! Okay, I left. And now I'm coming back again. Oh, nice, the trolley! One to take the trolley and need a coin. Oh, I don't have a coin! And get on the trolley. Should take, I could take the trolley, but where should I go? Ah, oh, that's a good point. Huh. Then it really is up to you. I need you to take the freaking... Hey, to go away. Nope, they don't care. Not afraid of people at all. Hmm. Snowball doesn't work. What about this? Throw a pickle at the bird! Oh, I guess that works. If I do that, and then throw another pickle. Oh, oh, he moved over here because the dude was in the window. Oh, okay. Good crow. I step on you now. All right, the pigeons are gone. Here are your pickles. I promised her I bought some bread. I was feeding the pigeons, but they flew away. Huh? I don't know what it could have caused that. Here, take it. Olga... Asked me to give you these cucumbers for Vasya's wedding. Thank you for the bread. Nice. Now we can go get our complaint form. Good evening. Here's your bread. 
thank you, dear. Today I returned from the clinic. The therapist is now Elen Elena Kandratova. She's the head of the department. Oh no, here we go again. And then that lady is young, but in general, she says that I have high blood pressure. I take pills for high blood pressure, but those devils want to prescribe something new. They do not have it. It's necessary to go to Victory Square or the trolley bus there. They have to in order to get to a pharmacy. have to fill out some forms for it. And yesterday I had high pressure again, so I got some natural herbs from Alexandra Borishtova, and she also uses it, says it helps, and she was lying for a month, she had a back problem before Fitch helped her. I told her why we work so hard in this summer house, that's why your back hurts. I gave her some oil for her back, now it's some kind of imported oil, it helps well, I smeared myself, I had stretches for three days, could not walk or bend. And the neighbor gave me a number. I called it. They said to come on Tuesday, but there I need a medical card. The local doctor did not give it to me, but they do not accept without, so I found the old card. Tomorrow I'll go all the way to the other end of town, and my leg still hurt. My knee swollen up on Wednesday. I do not understand why. Maybe they can have a look, too. And I filled in your forms. Here, take it, dear. Thank you. Oh. Run. Run while you can. The form's done. Good. You can pick up your TV at the police station. Where's that? Central's police station in Victory Square. We have to go now. Good luck. Okay. So now, I take the trolley. I, ex I assume. Thankfully, they waited for me. No, 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 no! Wait, wait! Wait, 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 wait! Wait for me! Oh, wait! <laughs> yes! We need to go to Victory Square to get our TV set. Nope! Come back! Come back! No, you bastard! So I took the trolley to Victory Square. Oh, okay, I'm on the trolley, thank goodness. Now all I need to do is pick up my TV. This should not take long. Let's hope. Arrived to Victory Square. All I need to do is pick up my TV at the police station. I have a form that proves it is mine. I hope to be back home in time to watch tonight's soccer match. Alright, well, we will end it here for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, keep an eye on your TV sets, and have a good day.